Tyler.com and Tosh McGee and Jared Rose are out of Lutcher High School with a couple of the 2017 prospects. I actually got the 2016 guys doing camera work right now, but John Trey Kirkland, quarterback, Aldon Trey Davis, wide receiver, and you guys are starting to see some, some college opportunities pick up in y'all's own right. Um, an LSU offer comes the week before signing day. What was that like, and what has some of the, the college recruiting process been like so far for y'all? I guess Aldon Trey, you first. It was a um, good opportunity to have one. So you could probably have a chance to stay in hometown instead of getting out. Same way, it's a dream come true. Uh, big school, perfect atmosphere. I'm happy that the offer came in. And we talked some, I guess, after the state championship game about the whole dynamic of being juniors, getting a chance to come back and take another shot at it. Um, the college stuff is, is going to keep coming here and there, but going into y'all's uh, y'all spring and summer work and then one more season here. What, what's y'all's mindset like knowing that these guys are now going to be gone and be all of the top dogs? Well, I mean, I'm just going to just take it one step at a time. Uh, go, go through practice, go through the mechanics, basic stuff just to get better. As, I mean, as strong as y'all were, obviously, a state championship team, how much better can y'all be next year knowing that y'all have to replace those guys, but y'all have some notable pieces back too? We got a chance of being better. Like, we just got to work harder and execute on everything we have. With uh, with the recruiting stuff, Jarvis is, is your cousin. Uh, we were talking about he's the the most recent guy from here to go to that big like SEC type level of school. Have you all heard from him in the last last week, two weeks, anything like that about seeing y'all get the opportunity to follow his footsteps to the next level too? No, not really. No. What uh, is LSU? I mean, is LSU a school that here y'all grew up paying attention to, whether watching him or even before that? Yeah, it was a dream come true. Like when we were younger, that's when we wanted to still be tripping and go. Yeah. I mean, they, I, mean I, I watched LSU my whole life. I mean, it's a hometown school. I mean, good school, big, big atmosphere, like I said. Another dream. And they're looking at you more as a DB. Yes. When you start figuring out some of that stuff and, and where you're looking to go, what are going to be some of the different factors that you start considering? Well, I mean, whatever uh, fits the system. If I feel I'm more comfortable on the defensive side, I'll stay on the defense. If I feel more comfortable on the offense, I'll stay on the offense. Just, just take it one step at a time and work hard at it. For you, when you start looking at some of these colleges and, and whatnot, what are the things you're looking for and you want to learn about them or, or end up being some, some factors for you in, a, in an eventual decision? I want to see if I fit into the offense, if they throw the ball more, if they give me a good education so I can finish my fitness after Dontre Davis, Dontre Kirkland, I know you guys are real eager to get back to math class, so I'll let you guys go. Uh, for no lack of common time, speaking to you and Jared Rosen.